August is the month of readathons. Hi, my name is Jeanette, and I want to thank you for joining me on the channel Jane Reads. So it is time to plan my TBR for August. Now, I have lots of plans, but will my game kind of work with me for what I want to read? Now, I say lots of plans, but I really don't have lots of books picked out, but I have a genre I want to pick out. So this month is going to be suspense filled because I am co-hosting the Keep Me in Suspense readathon with Caitlin from Chronicles of a Book Nerd and Amanda from Book Lover Amanda. So our announcement videos will be linked in the description below so you can check each video out and kind of get to know more information about this readathon. There are five prompts to complete. Now you can double up on prompts. You don't have to complete all the prompts, even reading one book, just you participate in the readathon. I'm aiming for five books because I normally read average between eight and 12 books a month. So we'll see what happens. Okay, in addition, so that readathon is running the whole month of August. In addition to that readathon, from July the 26th to August the 11th, I am also co-hosting the Olympics readathon with Holly from Lovely Day with Holly. So yes, this one started in July and then carries on for basically the first two weeks of August. Well, first 11 days of August. And there are five prompts on this one, but only three of those five are book related prompts. So I have two books that I am hoping to read in August to complete two of those prompts. We'll see what happens. Then there is the Deck of TBR readathon that is happening for the month of August that is being hosted by Becca from Becca Books and Bujo and Chloe from Always Booked. So I am loosely participating in this readathon. We'll see how it goes. I love watching Becca's TBR game. So when I saw this, I was like, Oh, that sounds really fun. And then I saw what month it was. I was like, oh, I'm already co-hosting a readathon for that month. Well, two actually. So we'll see. But my plan is to play my TBR game and see what books end up on my TBR. Then I will draw some cards for the deck of the TBR readathon and see if I can match books to the cards I draw. We'll see how this goes. Okay, now, as per each month, I am doing a few yearly reading challenges. I have my own reading challenge, I have Oshina's reading challenge, I have Katie's reading challenge, and I have Chantelle's reading challenge. Now, I am going to go over what I'm going to read for each challenge once I have my books picked from my game because they're fairly open this month and I don't need to read a particular book for each one. I mean, some are a little bit more, but I should be able to match books that I end up with my game onto those reading challenge prompts. So are there any books that I am hoping to get onto this game other than there need to be suspense? I would like to read all suspense this month. Well, all but one. And that one that is not going to be suspense is Hind's Feet on High Places. I felt like I said that name wrong. By Hannah Hernard. Um, Krista from Books and Jams is doing a read-along for this book in the month of August. And I plan on participating. So this is the one that I'm hoping to get on the TBR officially that is not a suspense book. This is considered like a classic Christian something <laughs> allegory fantasy I don't know really I don't really know much about this book okay then the books that are a priority for me and I mentioned this in my keep me in suspense readathon announcement is I want to read this series this is the defend and protect series by Lynn H Blackburn so book number one is unknown threat book number two is malicious intent and book number three is under fire so these are the ones I'm really hoping to get onto the TBR. We'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, 
So let's go to the TBR game and see what happens. Okay, roll number one. Seven and two is nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so the first prompt I got was over 400 pages. Okay, that is hard within the suspense genre, I am realizing. I went on my Goodreads and sorted my want to read books by number of pages and only one book came up in the 400 page mark. And I was like, really? A whole one book? In, in the suspense genre. I do have a few others. but So that one book is Concrete Evidence by Diane Mills. And then I was like, oh, if this one's 400 pages, I wonder what this one is. So I have Attracted to Fire, also by Diane Mills. But this one is on my rereads bingo board. So it's one of my 24 books to read this year, or to reread this year. Whereas this one is, I want to say relatively new to my TBR. Okay, maybe not. It was last September. <laughs> um, but it's not a priority book for this year. So I am going to add this one. Now, when I initially read this, I want to say 2011, I gave it five stars, but I did not write a review and I have no idea. So let's find out what it's even about. Only one assignment stands between special agent Megan Connors and her dream of protecting the president. After threats are made against the vice president's rebellious daughter, Megan is added to her protection detail on a secluded Texas ranch far from the media and any would-be assassins. Unfortunately, working with special agent in charge Ash Zinders may be as challenging as safeguarding Lindsey Hall. He has a reputation for being critical and exacting, but behind his tough exterior, Megan finds Ash is equally dedicated to upholding their oath. Okay, and this one is 410 pages. At the very end there, I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. So we'll see, Do, will I enjoy it as much this time around as I did the first time? Let's find out. Okay, so let's go back to the board and find out what prompt number two is going to be. A seven and a W, so that makes it seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. released last year. So prompt number two is released last year. Okay, so I went on to my TBR list to find out what suspense books do I have that was released in 2023. And I have one, just one. <laughs> but that's because suspense is the ones I kind of gravitate towards. And so I see a new one coming out, I pick it up and read it. Usually, not always. There are at least one this year that I haven't read yet. I think two, actually, that I haven't read yet. But you said last year. So that is Under Fire by Lynn H. Blackburn. This is book number three of the Defend and Protect series, which I want to read this month. So, okay, so you know one and two I'm going to try to fit on, or I will be reading them anyways. And this released March of 2023. So I am not going to read the back because as I said, it is book number three. And this book was gifted to me by Christine, my BFF. And I wanna say because it was purple and she knew that I really wanted this book and she happened to see it and was like, I'm gonna get that and give it to her. And I thank you, Christine, for that very much. Okay, so let's go back to the board and find out what book number three is going to be. Okay, roll number three. A 
9 and a 2 is 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so I got BFF Picks a Series Book. Now, Christine has two stipulations for her pick for this is it must be suspense and obviously it has to be in a series. So here's Christine with her pick and really she can't pick bad in this one really because suspense in a series like that is my jam. So hopefully I have the book that she picked or can get the book. I, I, I'm positive she won't pick a book that I cannot get. Okay, let's go back to the board and see what roll number four is going to be. Another seven and a W. And let me turn my bus the right way. Okay, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Draw two prompts and combine. Okay, so here's my prompt deck. So there's one and there's two. Well, I can't combine those. Um, hmm. So BFF picks my lowest rated suspense. Um, yeah, I can't combine those. Sorry, Christine. I can't combine that one either. Oh, did I even show you what that is? Move back four spots. Let's try again. Okay, I can combine that. My lowest rated book that my mom has given me. I have an idea which book this is. Okay, so I landed on draw two prompts and combine them. So then I drew two prompts from the draw pile and I got lowest rated and BFF picks suspense. Well, I cannot combine these two books. And yeah. So I apologized to Christine and took the BFF pick one off and drew again. I got a back four can't do that either. So then I drew again and I got from mom. So I'm going to combine my lowest rated book that I have received from my mother. Okay. And these are all ones that she has loaned to me. So the ones I have are The Gold The Gold Digger by Liz Tolsma. Tol Tolsma? I have no idea. Okay. Then we have The Silver Shadow by Liz, the same author. Then I have Missing Mabel by Nancy Mel. And let me just say, I come by leaving stickers on the books, very honestly. <laughs> and Who the Bishop Knows by Vanetta Chapman. So these are all the ones that are marked as suspense. And I didn't think this one was, but right on the back it says suspense. Okay, so... The Silver Shadow is a 4.04. Missing Mabel is a 3.87. The Gold Digger is a 4.26. And Who the Bishop Knows is a 4.55. These three are all four something. This one is a 3.87, so that makes it the lowest rated on my TBR. And Thankfully, it is a book one of a series, unlike the Bishop one is a book three of the series. Okay, so what is this one about? I mean, there's a picture of a coffin and a girl, a lady, not looking very happy, and a hairdryer. Kind of different. Oh my gosh, this would have totally worked for Katie's a packing item on the cover because I always pack a hairdryer. That's a few months ago though. <laughs> okay, so it says, 
Ms. Higgins Druthers Funeral Home is not in the practice of mixing up bodies. Hilt Higgins knows hair and she knows the hair on her client doesn't match the person originally identified as Mabel Windmaker? How can she make the funeral home director acknowledge the mix-up when they think she's creating a distraction to cover for stealing Mabel's diamond ring? Now her reputation and career are on the line. The only way to salvage her future is to find the missing Mabel. Can an old boyfriend be of help, or will he just add to the complications in her tangled life? Okay, it does sound kind of intriguing. We'll see. It's not a very long book either. It feels very thin. Oh, it's 249 pages. So that will fit for the prompt under 250 pages. Okay, so this is the one that's getting added to the TBR. Let's go back to the board and see what happens. Okay, before we roll again, just want to clarify, I've got the BFF suspense, pick suspense prompt. I'm putting it right on the very top to draw because if I have to draw again, there's a chance. Okay. Roll number four. Nope, roll number five. A six and a two. That is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why is it not focusing this time? There we go. Okay, so the next prompt to come up is set in the US. Fairly simple. I have lots of books set in the US. So I have chosen to go with The Gold Digger by Liz Tolsma. I really should figure out how to say her name correctly. And I picked this one because of the word gold in the title, because this will fit for the Olympics readathon. So that is why I chose this one. And I know for the other series, I'm gonna read those books. So if I, even if I don't get them on the TBR, I'm gonna read them. <laughs> okay, so my mom read this one and absolutely loved it. And it is rated 4.26 on Goodreads. So what's it about? It is part of the True Colors series, but this these are just like kind of connected books. Not, I mean, they're not connected to each other. They're written by various authors with the same theme. And it says, historical sto stories of American crime. A widow's ad for a husband leads to mysterious disappearance. So it's a true colors. It's fiction based on strange but true history. In 1907, shy but loyal Ingrid Sorset has traveled from Norway to support her grieving sister, Belle Gun Gunness who owns a farm in LaPorte, Indiana. Well-to-do widow Belle has lost two husbands and several children, provides Ingrid with enough money to start a small business. But Ingrid is confused by the string of men Belle claims to be interviewing for her next husband. When Niles Ling Ling Lindherd, troubles with last names here, comes to town looking for his missing brother, who he said was going to marry Belle, Ingrid has a sinking feeling her sister is up to no good. Just how many of Belle's suitors are missing and why? Okay, that sounds really interesting, so that's going to be the one. Okay, go back to the board and see what happens next. Okay, let's roll. An 8 and a 3 make 11. Am I that close to the end? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hmm. Not quite. Two spots. <laughs> okay, so, Christine, you really can't be complaining this month. <laughs> so, it came up with BFF's favorite author. This was hard in the suspense genre. If it had been historical fiction, it would be like, oh, that is so-and-so. And I probably, probably would have had a good idea in contemporary as well. But suspense, I was like, I don't know for sure. 
So I did send a message to her, but she hasn't replied yet. So I looked at her Goodreads and went by like who I kind of thought it probably would be and who she's read the most of and rated fairly high. So these are ones that thankfully I own and some of my favorite authors as well. And we have very similar ratings for their books, not these particular books because obviously I haven't read some of them. Okay. So we've got, on my Kindle, we have Susan May Warren. So I have Playing With Fire, which is book number two of Montana Fire series. Is that what the series is called? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't have it down. I just have the little Kindle picture for me. Um, but it is book number two, so I'm not gonna, I don't have it open to know what the back says. So the next one is The Way of the Brave by Susan May Warren. This is book number one of the Global Search and Rescue series. And it says, former pararescue jumper Orion Starr is haunted by the memory of a rescue gone wrong. He may be living alone in Alaska now, but the pain of his failure and his injuries has followed him there from Afghanistan. He has no desire to join Hamilton Jones' elite rescue team, but he also can't shirk his duty when the call comes in to rescue three lost climbers on Denali. Okay, then I have D. Henderson. So I have Kidnapped and this one is A Killer Returns. FBI agent Luke Falcon has a dead woman on his hands, a fresh victim from his old adversary, Frank Harden. This time, Frank won't walk away. But even that case will have to wait when Luke's extended family disappears over Labor Day weekend. Is there a harmless explanation or could they have been victims of a sword crime? So that is the other option. And then we have Terry Blackstock. So I have book number one in the If I Run series. So we are following Casey who discovers her best friend dead and then goes on the run in expectation that the police are going to think she did it and so then we have intervention which is book number one of the intervention series and her last hope is the beginning of a new nightmare barbara covington has one more chance to save her daughter from a devastating addiction by staging an intervention but when 18 year old emily disappears on the way to drug treatment and her intervention is found dead at her interventionist is found dead at the airport. Barbara enters her darkest nightmare of all. Okay, then the last book is Double Minds. So this is a standalone. And it doesn't have a description. Um, Double Minds is a double treat, combining a compelling suspense novel with an inside look at the world of Christian music industry in Nashville. Terry Blackstock grabs readers at page one and keeps them riveted until the final plot twist is untangled. Okay, so Christine, because I don't know exactly which one is your favorite author, and because I passed on that other prompt before, I am giving you the option of these six books. Yes, I'm like, did I list six? Okay, so we have Kidnapped by Dee Henderson. If I Run by Terry Blackstock, Intervention by Terry Blackstock, Double Minds by Terry Blackstock, and Playing with Fire by Susan May Warren, and The Way of the Brave by Susan May Warren. Okay, so Christine, pick one of these six, and that will be the one on my TBR. Okay, now we go back to the game board where the game will end because I'm only two spots away, and I don't have a one on my dice. <laughs> Okay, let's just make it official. Seven. One, two. I'm finished. Okay, so as I said, that brought us to the end of the board. And normally at this point, I spin the wheel for a book from my TBR bingo board. But I'm not gonna do that this month. <laughs> my rule, my game, my rules, I can change them. <laughs> okay, so because I only have three books, on my bingo board that are suspense. And I am ahead of schedule 
on my bingo board. And out of those three books, two of them are books three of the series and not series I've already started. So I'm going to take it easy on myself and just pick the one other suspense book that is on my bingo board and add that to my TBR. So that is Saltwater Cowboy by Christy Barrett. It is book number one of the Saltwater Cowboy series. And that's about all I know about it. Again, I should have brought it up on Goodreads, but I didn't. <laughs> but it has a horse on the cover. Ooh, it has a horse on the cover. Cool. And it takes place in North Carolina, I want to say. Maybe I should bring it up. Okay, I'm glad I brought it up. I mean, other than it being by Christy Barrett, who is one of my favorite suspense authors from the past. So when a mysterious woman washes up in Cape Corral, a wild horse sanctuary off North Carolina's coast, law enforcement, offer, law enforcement officer Levi Sutherland is determined to figure out if she's connected with the crimes recently plaguing the island. The problem is she can't remember anything. A wild horse sanctuary? Yeah. Okay, so that is the one that I'm adding for my TBR bingo board spot. Okay, as I said, Becca and Chloe are doing the deck of TBR. So I have seven books officially on my TBR from my game. Then I have books one and two of the Defend and Protect series by Lynn H. Blackburn. So that makes it nine. Then I have the read along with Krista, uh, Hind's Feet on High Places. So that makes it 10. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw seven cards and see if I can match them up to, like if the prompts, I can match up to books that I've already chosen. Am I gonna make my life really difficult here? Maybe. Okay, so I have my deck of cards and they're Coca-Cola. And this is actually the only deck of cards that I have that's a single pack. I have two double packs that are both Coca-Cola as well, but this one was already like divided into just one deck of cards. Yeah, the, these ones are really cool. And maybe we'll get, well, show you a face card. So the face cards. Um, would you like a Coke? And the king. This is upside down. The king. And then the ace. <laughs> I love these cards. Okay. Let's shuffle and see what happens here. Okay, draw number one is a three. Now the colors, like the suits, don't mean anything. And the way they're doing this, they've got three prompts for each number. So you can pick which prompt you do, and each prompt is worth a different point value. This is a competitive readathon. I don't know if I'm doing that part of it. We'll see. Okay, so a three is owned on your TBR. So it has to be a book I already own. Okay, so I either have to require it in the last six months, it's over a year old, or it's over five years old. Okay, Under Fire is over a year old because it came out last March. Okay, so there's book number one. Okay, do we shuffle again? I think so. Okay, draw number two. That's an eight. And an eight is a book in a series. Okay, so I'm either starting a series, continuing a series, or completing a series. Really? <laughs> this was book number three of a series. Um, can I move book number three? Wait, I can move book number three. I, yeah, this is just a fun readathon. They're already on my TBR, so I'm just moving them around. 
Okay, so we're going with over a year old or over, I don't think, I don't think this is, I don't think I've had this for five years. I don't think it's even been out five years. 2001, 21, no. Okay, so it still fits for the over a year old. For the number three, we're doing Uncommon Threat by Lynn H. Blackburn. This is book number one of the Defend and Protect series. Okay, then for the number eight, which is going to complete a series, we're going to go with Under Fire, which is book number three of that series. Okay, let's shuffle again. So, book number three is a three. Um, because I don't know what Christine's going to pick. Like, there's two books I don't know. And I don't own the other book, and one's a reread. So, we're going to go with book number two of that series, in Malicious Intent. And this one, again, I've owned more than a year. Okay, draw number four. Is a 10. What is 10? 10 is from Goodreads. So a high rating over a four, a low rating under 3.5, or less than a thousand ratings. Okay, so can I do the less than a thousand ratings? Three books I have remaining are Attracted to Fire, Missing Mabel, and The Gold Digger. Oh, and Saltwater Cowboy. Well, I can see that Saltwater Cowboy has 1,500 ratings. Okay, I was shocked. So Missing Mabel only has 184 ratings. The Gold Digger only has 380 ratings. So I'm going with Missing Mabel. Okay, draw number five. Six. Six is a random read. So I need to do a random color generator, a random letter generator, or just randomize my entire TBR. Oh. If I randomize my entire TBR, what are the chances I get a book that's already on my TBR? <laughs> but again, color, letter, like, wow, okay, this one's gonna be hard. Okay, so let's try for the 5.1 with randomizing my TBR. Yeah, it's a suspense book. So it was Deception by Patricia Badley, but it's book number four of a series. And I don't own the rest of the series currently. <laughs> so, yeah. No. Okay, what was my other option? A random letter generator. Let me grab my other phone. Okay. So, it was set up for filming the board game. Okay, so... Let's see what happens here. Really? I don't even know if you can... Oh, maybe you can. Really? <laughs> Needless to say, I do not have a book that starts with a Z. <laughs> okay. Let's go with a random color. Okay, so we start with this green. A deep orange. Yeah. Sure. This one is really a fail. Okay, we're going back to the letter because I think I'll have more luck on that one. Let's spin again.
As I said, I think I'll have more luck on that one. I can do an A. Attracted to fire. That works. Okay. Okay. A queen. A queen is the format. So either an audio, an ebook, or a physical. Okay, that's easy. That's easy. It doesn't even have to be a separate book. Or does it have to be a separate book? You know, I don't know, actually. So, I'll just put one of Christine's picks here because I will read it in one of those three ways. Okay, last one. I think they do have to be several books now that I think about it. Okay, last draw is a three again. And with three was owned on my TBR. So acquired in the last month, over a year old, or over five years old. Well, I don't own the remaining book that's on my TBR. And I don't know what book Christine's gonna pick. So we're just gonna go with this one for now, Hind's Feet on High Places, because I bought this at the beginning of May. So it's more than a month old. <laughs> Not quite a year, but yeah. So these are the, well, these are some of the 10 books that are officially on my TBR. I do not know what book Christine is gonna pick or has picked for the Just Pick a Series book. And I don't know which one she's gonna pick for the favorite author prompt. But these are the ones I have picked to put on my TBR. So we have Heinz Feet on High Places for the readathon. We have Attracted to Fire by Dan Mills. We have Missing Mabel by Nancy Mel. We have the Defend and Protect series by Lynn H. Blackburn, and I do not have them in order here. Then we have The Gold Digger by Liz Tol Tolsma, and we have Saltwater Cowboy by Christy Barrett. That was the other one I do know about. Okay, so I just realized I didn't talk about the books I'm gonna be reading for the Keep Me in Suspense readathon prompts, which is the readathon I'm hosting. Let's do that now. Okay, so prompt number one is Partner in Solving Crime, a book from a favorite author. So that is going to be Under Fire by Lynn H. Blackburn. Okay, then prompt number two was Race Against Time, a book under 250 pages. I'm gonna read Missing Mabel by Nancy Mel because it's 249 pages. And then prompt number three is Rookie Officer, the first book in a series. I'm gonna read Unknown Threat by Lean H. Blackburn. Call for Backup, a friend recommendation. So I am going to read The Gold Digger by Liz Tols Tolsma. And because this was a recommendation from my mom and that I consider her a friend. Okay, and then the last prompt is Means, Motive, and Opportunity, a book you already own and are dying to read. Malicious Intent by Lynn H. Blackburn. Because this is the remaining book on my five-star prediction video that I did, I want to say the end of last year. So I've been dying to read it for a while. And it's book number two of the series that I'm reading this month. So those are all the books on my TBR for this month. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video today and I hope you have a great day. Bye.